and Rasmus Hoyland. Rasmus Hoyland. Hoyland's been very good. And the keeper, Hoyland! Oh. Rasmus Hoyland! Rasmus Hoyland, you've probably heard of him. He was Man United's flagship signing this past summer and he was supposed to save United. But his start to the season for the most part has been underwhelming. But recently he's become one of the most informed players in the Premier League. Which reminds me of another Man United player, specifically from the mid-2000s, Wayne Rooney. They are very much alike, but before we uncover their relationship, we have to go back to the 2022-23 season where Hoyland would make himself known to the football world. So let's make this quick. At the beginning of the season, he was playing for Austrian club SK Stuttgart, one of the best teams in Austria behind RB Salzburg. The Austrian Bundesliga begins in July, and the start for Rasmus Hoyland would be fantastic. In the five matches he played at the start of the season, he would score three goals and assist two, building confidence and emerging seemingly out of nowhere to be one of the most widely sought after youngsters throughout Europe. And looking at his past performances from the season prior, these numbers were enough to grab the attention of Italian and Serie A club Atalanta, with the expectation of him becoming one of the best strikers in Italian football. But that plan would not come into fruition right away, as at the beginning of the 2022-23 Serie A season, he was a substitute, and nothing more. But his big break would come when the main forwards Muriel and Zapata fell out of form and were dealing with injuries. Rasmus Hoyland took no time in adjusting into the starting role, and he started to perform. Already in January, he started to deliver many convincing and confident performances, despite only scoring a single goal. But by that time, fans who were consistently watching him started to notice his qualities. His finishing, work rate, and overall footballing ability were something beyond Rasmus Hoyland's status. Continuing into the 2022-23 season, Rasmus started to finish his chances and his rise to prominence began. He started to score goals at a world-class rate and was one of the top scorers for Atalanta that season. From January to the end of the season, he had scored an incredible 8 goals and 3 assists just in Serie A, which is pretty impressive to say the least and it was enough to catch the eye of Ten Hag and the other directors in Man United, who eventually made the move to sign the 20-year-old for a total of 64 million, plus 8 million in add-ons, and the beginning of his Man United career would come soon. But this part of the story looked very similar for Wayne Rooney as well. Before Wayne Rooney signed for the Red Devils, he was playing for his boyhood club Everton, and he was already establishing his reputation in the Premier League. The prior season, he was only 17 years old and had scored 8 goals that season, and the 03-04 season would be a similar story. He would break through to the top of the Premier League, bursting onto the scene with remarkable performances that captured the attention of fans and pundits. And Rooney continued to impress with his goal-scoring prowess and all-around abilities. He scored several crucial goals for Everton, showcasing his strength, skill, and clinical finishing. And by January, he had scored 4 goals which was unheard of for teenagers at this time. Wayne Rooney went on with the rest of the season at the same trajectory, becoming one of the most exciting players in the Premier League and one of the most iconic players to ever step foot out onto the pitch for Everton, despite being a teenager. He created some iconic moments like his goal against Arsenal, which you can see for yourself. Have a chance to come forward. Now Rooney, what can he do with this? Oh, what can he do? Remember this name, Wayne Rooney. His work rate, physicality, and finishing ability was like no other, and by the end of the season, he had a total of 9 goals and 4 assists in all competitions. And for Sir Alex Ferguson, that was enough for him to sign the 18-year-old kid for 23 million euros, the most ever paid for a teenager at the time. But the beginning of his Man United career wasn't as glorious as many thought it would be. But before we uncover that, let's look back at Rasmus Hoyland's start to his Man United career. The start for Hoyland was by no means prolific. It was very much difficult to watch. Hoyland was expected to make his official debut in the first match day of the 2023-24 season against Wolves, but a back injury would hold him out for three weeks. However, he would make his official Premier League debut against Arsenal. Getting subbed on and there was tons of hype to see this guy play, and he delivered. His first match was promising, showing his physical play and aggression toward goal, and he looked like everything that United needed. As the season went on, however, Rasmus Hoyland still couldn't deliver when it came to scoring goals. But for some reason, he was incredibly prolific in the Champions League, scoring a goal in his United UCL debut against Bayern, and two braces the following matches against Galatasaray and his former club FC Copenhagen. And very quickly, the contrast between his performance in the league versus the Champions League became a meme all over the internet. Rasmus Hoyland is an underwhelming signing. See, they got Erling Haaland for 51 million. Is Hoyland that good? <laughs> when Man United would get knocked to the Champions League, however, after placing last in their group stage, the goals had to go somewhere. And he would score his first Premier League goal in the league shortly after against Aston Villa at Old Trafford, and what a finish it was. But before I continue, let's look at the beginning of Wayne Rooney's journey with United. The beginning of Wayne Rooney's first season with United was very much the same, as at the start of the 2004-05 season, Rooney was left out of the squad for the first six weeks of the season because of a foot injury that held him out. 
and the hype was certainly building for the wonder kid of Everton to make his first appearance with Manchester United. He'd finally make his debut in the Champions League against Fernabache, and to put it simply, his debut was insane. I'll let you see for yourself. Still right. Rooney, real chance for a debut goal! Rooney wants it, now he's got it, oh, wonderful piece of skill, and then he goes for goal, oh! It is Rooney then, oh! oh. Simply sensei. Yep, three goals in his UCI debut, absolute madness. But on the other hand, it took him a while to score his first goal in the Premier League, just like Hoyland. He didn't score until the 10th match day at home against Arsenal and a 2-0 win. The rest of Rooney's season would have been insanely impressive as he would start scoring relentlessly. And by the end of the first season, he would have a total of 14 goals in the UCL and Premier League combined. And his achievements did not go unnoticed as he received the PFA Young Player of the Year award at the end of the season. And this story continues very similar to Hoyland's. But before we turn to how Rasmus Hoyland's season has gone so far, if you could do me a favor, hit the subscribe and like button down below. That would help this channel a lot and that can help me keep making videos like this. Thank you. Anyways, moving on, Hoyland would immediately turn into one of the most informed strikers in Europe after his goal against Villa. The next fixture in the FA Cup against Newport County, he would score a goal, making it back-to-back -back games. He finally started to adjust to the United way. Again, in his next match with United against Tottenham at home, he would score and assist, and by far, he was United's man of the match and the driving force for United in that game. But look at this finish. Anyways, the fans noticed that he started to have a tremendous impact on the performance of the team in most matches he played. Despite him not getting the most amount of service, he was turning into one United's flagship players. And this great run of form was only just the beginning, as he would score in the next four consecutive matches, totaling seven goals in the Premier League so far, 13 across all competitions. And if he continues to score goals like this, I really do think he will surpass the levels that Wayne Rooney reached in his career. But you might ask, how exactly will he do that? And is he even that much similar to Rooney? If we just look at Hoyland, he really enjoys a through ball and he is very physical. And he has a high rate of winning duels. His hold up play and his strong defensive attributes in the final third are definitely an asset to United. So it's not an issue for him to beat a man to the ball or hold one off. But often he won't even need to use that as he's just so pacey. Additionally, he has extreme composure under pressure, which is why he has some of the coldest finishing, the dinks, the lobs, and the power shots, chef's kiss. Not even to mention his passing ability. When he's stationed out wide, there's times where I think I'm watching De Bruyne. But how similar is that to Wayne Rooney? Well, let's look. Rooney in the early stages of his career was akin to being an absolute workhorse up front, which is why he got so far in his career as one of the most tenacious strikers of all time. And to say the least, he was very physical. In the attack, however, he was a force to be reckoned with. He had some really underrated passing and vision from an early 2000s striker. His through balls and crosses were superb at the time, and when he got the ball, it was not what you wanted to see as a defender. If he didn't already smash one top bins, he probably took you on, and more than likely he blew past you, and then eventually scored. Not many defenders could stop Wayne Rooney, and not many defenders could stop Rasmus Hoyland either. Even if fans don't want to admit it, the two have more in common than you might think. Even though so many fans right now are saying that Hoyland is the next Holland, really think that he will be reminiscent of a young Wayne Rooney. And as a Chelsea fan, I hope he becomes one of the world's best strikers. Especially considering the talent that surrounds him on this United team, it's very possible we will see Rasmus Hoyland in the history books.